Welcome to Supersonic Toge Max 2017 Round 3, sponsored by 8 Initial Lubricants, VP Racing, and P Tune. I'm Vincent, your commentator of the day. We are met with heavy rain early morning, and the first run is not counted for safety reasons. With the most number of team entries ever, this series champions will face with the strongest competitors. With 50 participants registered for the time attack, it's the largest entry for a Singaporean-only event here at MIMC. Singha Racing School graduate and multiple Supang Time Attack Champion Aloysius from LHB Exhaust Motorsports entered the race for the very first time. With a strong team and machine behind him, he's one of the favourites of the day to win the champion. You were considered as the, of the first top favourite to win both the championship and fastest timing of the day. Are you confident about today's time attack? Uh, it's my first time here with the EVO 9, so I'm still trying to get used to the car. And thanks to the owner of the car, Jovi, and the sponsor, New Lubricants Pista. Co-organiser and track record holder Shane Ang is back with his evolution in hope to secure his series win and defend his Open Class Championship title. You have been the consecutive champion and fastest record holder for three rounds since 2016. From what we see in the past records, you tend to win by big margins and some may quote you as untouchable. How do you feel about today's race? Uh, definitely not untouchable this round. We have uh, very good drivers like Eddie uh, with some of the few uh, Lotus coming. Uh, so I think uh, it's very suitable for the, I mean the Lotus is very suitable for the track, so, so they may clock very fast timing. And of course, uh, we have the, our hot favourite, uh, LHB, uh, with Alloy here with us, uh, he's famous for being fast. So um, instead of feeling like the defending, uh, I feel more like a challenger today. Uh, so I hope to do well lah, and uh, hope to break my record, uh, that's my first, first priority. Uh. Rising to one of the fastest GT86 drivers just within a year of racing, Team Supersonic Senko has some words of advice for everybody who wants to improve quickly. In less than a year, you went from being the slowest in your class to a consistent top 3 winner and championship contender. You are the driver with the most improvement in this series. What are your secrets to this big jump in skill and what are your goals today? Um, actually, there are no secrets. Lah. I think... Um Everything is about your attitude. Cause to me personally, whenever I start to okay, I'm a track newbie. Okay, and this is my first year tracking. So whenever I um, come to track, okay, I try to you know tell myself I'm a blank piece of paper. Okay, whatever all the veterans, the experienced uh, drivers, whatever it, whatever they teach me, um, I'll take in, do some uh, self processing first. Okay, whatever makes sense. I'll add it to my uh, list of uh, secret weapon and uh, see how. Yeah, I definitely I still got a lot, a lot of uh, rooms for improvement. Um, there are very good drivers in my car, uh, in my class, such as uh, Navin, Kenneth, Lester. Uh, all these are my um, my uh, aim. Okay, my aim is to uh, you know, get close to them and uh, ho hopefully I'll beat them eventually. And uh, yeah, so that's not really a secret. Like, it's just an attitude, I think. Yeah. Okay, anyway, heard that you are the most handsome in your group. Yeah, so what do you have to say about that? Nothing to say, it's a fact. Uh. <laughs> we have our usual suspects in Class 1 and some new faces from Enfrono, Jonathan and Jerry from Team Supersonic. Class 2 entries are plagued with some car and schedule troubles as we see a smaller entry this round. Next up, in Class 3, we have veteran driver from TuneWorks gunning for the win. With his fastest VTEC class record still in place, Mike Chan will have to complete against 13 other drivers for the win. 
Last but not least, the open class proves to be the favourite and most competitive class as always. Shen Ang's previous wins did not face the crowds but drew in even more drivers to compete in this time attack. A total of 18 races this round in the open class. That you are plagued with some car troubles. What makes you decide to continue the race? Um, actually, I mean, this kind of thing is quite unfortunate like, if you have car troubles, but you know, luckily we got it fixed, you know, thanks to Chun. So, I uh, managed to come here today. We resolved it yesterday, so you know, I think we still can continue. Like. Most importantly, everybody is here to have fun, like. so you know, uh, doesn't really need massive upgrades and all that. Just uh, come here and play along. Lance from Project SG Racing Crew visited us with his Monster Lotus X6S2 and bowed everybody with his electrifying driving. Lance, it's our honour to have you here in our event. So what do you think about our event today? Uh, I think it's excellent. Right? Uh, probably the best event I've uh, ever joined. Right after first hit, Class 2 clockwise record was broken by the man itself, Navin from Rysis. Hi Mr. Navin, your name is famous among all the other participants and followers of the series due to the fact that you are the only person who is able to push a street tyre NA GT86 into the 1 minute 09 second range. With the huge lead that you are holding above the rest of Class 2, what are your aims and targets for today's race? Uh, the main aim is to have fun and I think if you uh, don't think about your timing, you can go faster. Uh, Sen has a really good car and he's a good driver so I think he still has a good chance to uh, to match uh, the speed. So as long as everyone has fun, go back in one piece, you know, we'll be happy. Alicia's clock had never done before. One minute, 5.5 seconds, and broke the previous clockwise record by 3.2 seconds. With a huge benchmark given to him, Shane Ang countered the effect with a 1 minute, 5.4 seconds, setting the all-time fastest clockwise track record at the same time. We ended the morning clockwise hit without any incidents, and here are the results. The winner will be based on the average of both the fastest clockwise and anti-clockwise lap. Driver will need to be good at both directions to secure the win. Right after the break, all the racers get themselves ready for the anti-clockwise heat. You are using a 20 years old car to compete with the new Type R's. What are your secrets to keeping up with them? Okay, maintaining his performance um, and uh, upkeeping his handling and performance will help keep up with the newer cars. Also, the track is um, a smaller track, so the deficit in power is not that great. With the aim to promote motorsports to everybody, the event not only attracts the best local drivers, we have a fair share of new trackers on board with us today. It's your first time here. How do you feel about the event? Uh, I think the event is really impressive. Uh, that's, it's really fun. I'm an adrenaline junkie myself, so I really love uh, things that pump, get me, get me started. Lah. Yeah, and on top of that, there's like a pretty interviewer like you. And yeah. Larry, Navin, 
Jason and Eddie continued to clock the best timing of their respective classes for their anti-clockwise runs. With the podium wins this round, Larry, Navin and Mike Chan secured their series title as the king of Toge Max 2017 of their respective classes. The drama continues during the afternoon anti-clockwise hits as the two Evolution line had a match which kept everyone fixate on the scoreboard and galleries. Aloysius took two seconds off the old record right off the bat even though it's his very first time driving in anti-clockwise direction. Shane came in with 1 minute 5.7 seconds immediately to gain back his lead. With one last run left for both of them, Aloysius returned to the pit with a breath taking 1 minute 5.2 seconds just as the win is almost secure. Shen Ang clocked a new track and event record of 1 minute 5.1 seconds. This is the closest match we have ever seen in this series. Famous veteran racer and multiple champion winner, Eddie made a surprise appearance this round too. With a modest integral type S, he outperformed the rest of the competition even though it's just his first attempt on this track, pushing Chun's motorsport to right to the top of the podium. Hi Mr. Eddie, this is your first time at this time attack. How do you feel about the event? Um, it's a quite a technical circuit, a lot of low gears which is like second gear most of the time and the straight is a bit long, you need a bit of horsepower for that. I think it's great, lah. there's a lot of grip, it's like a bit harsh on the tyres but I think it's okay, it's just, just like Pasikurang. With so many teams sending in their best representative, friendly rivalry is inevitable but all the participants were gracious to prevent any unwanted incidents. Here are the anti-clockwise timings and final results. We conclude the third round of 2017 Supersonic Toge Max. Thank you for watching and see you at the final round on the 8th of October.